after you set yourself up, I want you to imagine like a laser going all the way to the target. And if you want to look where you, you're gonna hit the ball, right? You're just gonna follow. My head is sort of raised. I've turned my head this way. And now even if I try and go back down, my shoulders are now open. My eye line is now sort of aiming to the left. And what that is gonna do is encourage me just by uh, osmosis to have a more over the top swing that's gonna pull it to the left. And you're thinking, man, why did I do that? Why do I always come over the top or whatever it might be? It's not your swing, it's just the way you're aiming your eyes up. How good a goal swing you have, if you're out of kilter, it's gonna be that much harder. So if you find that you're one of those golfers who stands there and fidgets around and looks up and moving the feet, trying to shuffle around, trying to get comfortable, you are doomed. How to aim the club face, specifically with irons. The way most of you are doing this is literally making your golf swing less consistent, the accuracy of your shots a bit wayward, but remembering a couple of very simple and important things, you will be hitting more greens, you will be striking the ball better. Let's find out how. The way you think you need to aim up the body, for the most part, is what's screwing you up a little bit, okay? The most important thing with any golf shot is actually where the club face is aiming, okay? And where our intent is. And that's why it's very important to do the first crucial step as the first thing you do, okay? And that is to aim the club face first. Because what happens is when people set up to the golf ball, a lot of the times they'll set the feet up, okay? They're thinking, all right, I need to go over to there. They'll set the feet up, then they'll get the shoulders a bit aligned, and then they'll put the club face down relative to the grip or whatever it might be. And what happens is we're not that smart to kind of align ourselves perfectly every time. And then there's going to be another fault that I see way too often, which we're going to discuss in a little bit. But what happens is, if you try and aim up your feet or your body first, you're not really giving yourself enough of a um, perspective of where you need to aim, okay? It's almost a bit too arbitrary. So, if you are a little bit skew if in your setup, no matter how good a goal swing you have, if you're out of kilter, it's going to be that much harder. So if you find that you're one of those golfers who stands there and fidgets around and looks up and moving the feet, trying to shuffle around, trying to get comfortable, you are doomed. Does that sound a little bit like you? That you're standing over the ball, feeling a bit fidgety, trying to adjust the shoulders, the hips, the club, the grip before you can pull the trigger. You need to stop doing that and I'm gonna show you how. But if that does resonate, just let me know below. If you are setting up and fidgeting and closing the shoulders, you're gonna be skew if. And if you're making the fatal flaw of lifting the head up to look where you're aiming here, you're again putting yourself a bit too skew if, all right? And there is an easy way that we can fix this. So first, we're gonna address, uh, excuse the pun, we're gonna address the club face. But we do that by choosing our target, okay? And then we choose an intermediate point. I've talked about this many, many times. Not only does the intermediate point help us with our aim, it helps us with our intent. It gives us uh, a, a narrower focus of our objective. And it is perhaps the most important thing you have to do on every single golf shot. We cover it in other videos and you can see them below. So we have a little leaf here which is in line with our target. But I'm just gonna put a T-peg down just to show us a bit more of a significant point, okay? Now what we're doing is, we are, before anything else, we are aiming up the club face in line with that T-peg, okay? That's our intermediate point. I just let the club sit and rest there. Now I formulate my grip, now I formulate my stance to be parallel to that if I'm wanting a more or less straight goal shot, okay? Then 
I do my little checkpoints of the feet, the hips, the shoulders. Is that square to my intermediate point? And that is it, my friends, okay? That is it. But once you've built from the, the line of the club face first to the feet, to the body, you then have to be wary of the one fatal flaw, which is looking up. Because in a pre-shot routine, whether you're regimented or not, everyone sort of looks where they're wanting to hit the ball. But if you do it this way, you're screwed. This way is when we're standing here, let's say we've got everything correct, okay? The incorrect way is to lift up like this. You'll see that, you watch your golf buddies, they'll do it. They'll, they'll lift up like this and see how I'm coming out of posture. My head is sort of raised. I've turned my head this way. And now even if I try and go back down, my shoulders are now open. My eye line is now sort of aiming to the left. And what that is gonna do is encourage me just by uh, osmosis to have a more over the top swing that's gonna pull it to the left. And you're thinking, man, why did I do that? Why do I always come over the top or whatever it might be? It's not your swing, it's just the way you're aiming your eyes up because your eyes are the sort of guiding point to everything. So what you need to do is, after you set yourself up, I want you to imagine like a laser going all the way to the target. And if you want to look where you, you're gonna hit the ball, right? You're just gonna follow that line by tilting the head. And that's how you're going to ensure that you've got the correct line. So you just tilt the head and then we go and swing, all right? That's it. That's the only objective I want you to have. Aim the club face first, then the body, and then just be wary of the neck. Do that, you're gonna be more consistent, especially with the irons. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.